So this is a very exciting project. It's implementing what's referred to as low impact development techniques, which is where the LID comes from in the project name. So we're constructing bioretention cells where you essentially take your curb line along the roadway and you bump it out sort of into what's currently pavement. So we remove some of that impervious paved area and instead we direct the stormwater runoff into these bioretention areas. So they're sort of intentionally planted with vegetation that will filter the stormwater runoff and remove pollutants before it enters our storm drainage system. The city was very interested in pursuing this project as one of our water quality improvement projects. We were particularly focused in this area because the road ownership in the neighborhood is primarily city-owned streets, and so that gives us sort of the ability to provide these enhancements on city-maintained right-of-way. And then uh, additionally, the city leadership was very interested in this location because it gave us a very unique opportunity to partner with Benedict College. The location of this project is just adjacent to the college, and we were able to partner with their engineering curriculum in order to conduct field trips and have the students engage in sort of a, a mock extension of the project and learn some of the design practices. Uh, so that partnership has been, been really great both for the city uh, and, and hopefully for those students as well. This project uh, has a number of positive benefits by sort of filtering that stormwater runoff and removing pollutants, any little bit of that capture helps improve the, the stream further downstream. So that's feeding into Smith Branch, which feeds into the Broad River, which actually ends up in our water treatment plant. But then additionally, this project removes some of that impervious surface. So by removing any small portion of roadway that we can remove, causes a little bit less of that sort of flashy response to storm events. So in that sense, this project, while it's not the primary goal of the project, it does provide a modest uh, improvement in your peak flows during storm events. And then by bringing out the curb into the roadway slightly, there's a natural traffic calming effect. And so the, the tendency of cars to potentially speed down some of these residential streets, that's mitigated a little bit by, by providing this project.